This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jose. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 17 verses 26 to 37. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. The time of the son of men will be just like the time of Noah. Everyone carrying on as usual, having a good time right up to the day, Noah boarded the ship. They suspected nothing until the flood hit and swept everything away. It was the same in the time of Lot. The people carrying on, having a good time, business as usual, right up to the day Lot walked out of Sodom and a firestorm swept down and burned everything to a crisp. That's how it will be, sudden, total. When the son of man is revealed when the day arrives and you're out working in the yard don't run into the house to get anything and if you're out in the field don't go back and get your coat remember what happened to lot's wife if you grasp and cling to life on your terms you'll lose it but if you let that life go you'll get life on god's terms on that day two men will be in the same boat fishing One taken, the other left. Two women will be working in the same kitchen. One taken, the other left, trying to take all this in. The disciples said, "Master, where?" He told them, "Watch for the circling of the vultures. They'll spot the corpse first. The action will begin around my dead body." Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter the 17th verses 26 to 37 Thinking about our death is not a bad fantasy says Pope Francis We are at the end of the liturgical year and the readings in the mass invite us to think about the end of the world the end of all of us because we will all die as our mother and teacher the church wants us to think about our own physical death My end is something I should begin to consider. In the gospel Jesus uses the expressions as it happened in the days of Noah and as it happened in the days of Lot. People at that time ate, drank and led an ordinary life until Noah entered the ark. In the days of Lot they ate and drank, bought, sold, planted and built Then there was a collapse of everything that was regarded as normal. We are accustomed to living a mundane life. Waking up in the morning, getting ready for work, doing the household work, meeting people and making plans for the future. But there will come a day when the Lord will tell us, "Wake up, let us go." Pope Francis in his homily says, The call for some will be sudden for others it will be after an illness an accident when and how no one knows but the call will be god's surprise for us taking us to yet another surprise the surprise of eternity the lord and the church tells us these days stop for a while and think about your death because there will be a day when we will have to go i may have made all plans for today but will it be my last day if that's the case can i spend this day well can i do my jobs well as if today is my last day that should also be the case with my relationships at home with the family with my friends and in my workplaces What if today is my last day with my family? Live it well with them. Also, when we go to see a doctor, will it be the beginning of the final visit? Thinking about death is not an ugly fantasy. It's a reality. The Pope insisted. The beauty of death is that there will be an encounter with the Lord where he will tell us, "Come, Come blessed by my father come with me then there is no use of saying but lord i still need to fix this and do that nothing can be fixed today let us do this 
it will be good for us to stop and think about that day when the lord comes to meet us and take us to go with him